Hey, what's good? What's good? What's good? Beautiful people. Of course, you know who it is. Yours truly, Dr. Mike, back again once again with another informative news related video. Man, we knocking them out today as we see before you again. First time to the channel. Make sure you subscribe and notify. And I got to give a shout out to everybody who brung this up in the chat. The previous chat that we just had and also a big shout out to my homeboy eddie g who sent me this particular link to use as a reference base for this particular video about a couple of videos ago probably less than about 20 i talked about the legalization of marijuana in the philippines and how i mean not in the philippines but in south korea and how that could be the beginning of a trend but then i was like in the philippines i'm not sure if it's actually going to be here and then i talk about i talked about the medicinal users of marijuana and how it's probably not a good idea to do that in the country but it seems it seems that it is highly probable that this could actually be something that you may be able to partake in in the near future as we read the report before us right here on the screen reported by rappler um it says that the house passes bill legalizing medical marijuana okay it says the bill's approval on final reading is not a surprise speaker gloria gloria macapagal Arroyo, we'll just call her GMA, uses marijuana patches to ease pain when she's in countries where it is legal now um GMA is a former president i think she was the president she was two presidents ago the last president was aquino and then she was the president before him okay and if you guys understand the closeness of relationship between the president and gma you would know that this right here is probably one of the main reasons why i see a high probability that this could possibly be a bill that is passed it passed in the house it must go to the senate and then after that, it will go to the president for approval, just in case you guys don't know how the government work. <laughs> the government works. OK, so I look at it and I'm like, wow, this is a high probability. And this is a stark contrast to what I was saying in my video, simply because I knew the platform that the current president ran on in reference to cracking down on drug use in general for the people. Now, again, this article was reported on January 29th and today officially as we speak is January 30. One. So you're seeing that this is only two days after it was previously uh, written <laughs> by the uh, young lady that you see before you. Okay. If you're following along, um, let's see what we have to say here. It says Manila, Philippines, the house of representative representatives thinks it is high time for the Philippines to legalize and regulate the med medical use of cannabis or marijuana. Vote <laughs> marijuana, uh, voting 163, five, three legislators approved on third and final reading of house bill 65 17 i was wondering why this wasn't house bill 420 haha <laughs> joke lung um or the act providing compassionate and rights of access to medical cannabis and expanding research into its medicinal properties and for other purposes that's a long act but okay they'll probably give the details on it later uh, it says the bill would make it legal to use marijuana to benefit patients suffering from debilitating medical conditions. OK, the bill defines this as any disease causing wasting syndrome, severe and chronic pain, severe nausea, seizures, including those characteristics of epilepsy and severe and persistent muscle spasms. Again, this is kind of the way that it was outlined in the um, bill in the U.S. as well and probably in other countries, things that are really severe and debilitating towards the individual marijuana will be used to help ease and soothe soothes those particular pains the passage of the medical marijuana bill at the house is not surprising as mentioned earlier she admitted that she uses marijuana patches to ease the pain whenever she visits other countries where medical cannabis is actually legal okay so she is a medicinal user but she doesn't actually smoke it she gets the patch so again She's a very, very prominent figure, whether you want to believe it or not. And I think that she has a lot of sway when it comes to something of this magnitude. Because, again, you have to realize this is something that is going on in the country now. But aside from that, to see that it might actually be able to be legalized is something that is crazy amazing. I figured when the U.S. did it, it was only a matter of time, matter of time before the Philippines got to it. <clears throat> it just seems that South Korea beat them to the punch. Now, personally, if you ask me, um, I just see it making a lot of people rich. <laughs> Pretty much one note true. 
my personal opinion I see a lot of people getting their hands in that cookie jar And I want to be one of them I ain't gonna front I don't smoke the shit But I tell you right now If there was a way that I could get my hands into that particular pocket You know, because everybody gonna get rich You do realize that it is a billion dollar industry just in the U.S. alone So I can only imagine the kind of revenue it brings in in other countries So for it to come to the Philippines You're looking at some major major differences now my only thing right now that i'm questioning and this may be weird that i'm questioning it is simply i'm not sure if you as a foreigner coming into the country will be able to have access to it just because you have a medical marijuana license or you know like you said because you are licensed to use it for medicinal purposes i'm not sure I guess that will all come out in the rollout whenever it actually does become legal, if it does become legal or when, depending on how you look at the uh, situation. But again, I'm just very, very interested in this one. And I thank you for everybody who brought it to my attention when it happened. Like I said, I had to do my research on it. And then my homeboy sent me this particular um, article to use as a reference point. I believe that there's a lot to be said here. Um, the Department of Health Secretary previously said using medical marijuana for research purposes is already allowed by another cons another act that was put together in 2002. The law classifies marijuana as a dangerous drug, but Section 16 allows medical laboratories and medical research centers to cultivate marijuana, opium poppies, <clears throat> excuse me, as well as similar plants and materials for medical experiments experiences and research purposes. The Dangerous Drug Board, however, prescribed the implementing guidelines for the proper cultivation, culture, handling, experimentation, and disposal of the plant's materials. So this is already something that's been enacted in the country. There's a lot to be read here. Uh, so it looks like everybody's saying, all right, we, we about to make it happen, I guess. There's nothing else to be read, is there? Let me see. <clears throat> Okay, that's a whole nother article. All right. With that being said, ladies and gentlemen, I really want to hear your thoughts on this one. Never saw it coming. I should have seen it coming after South Korea did it. But, you know, now I'm seeing that this is a big business and a big industry. To me, I only see it more as a money grab. <laughs> and, you know, if it does help people, and it really, really does, I've seen the benefits that it has for certain people who suffer from chronic, chronic illnesses. And I'm pretty glad that this is something that is coming to the country as long as people don't abuse it. That's my only issue. I know people that abuse it just a little bit. But as long as it's there for the people who need it, I'm 100% on board with it. As I, have, as I always have been. I mean, if you smoke it, ain't nothing to do with me. Like I said, I'm not going to get high off my own supply because I don't even get involved in that shit. But again, if there's any way that your boy can get in on it, <laughs> we need to make that happen. We're going to have to start doing some research on that. So I'm going to holler at y'all right now while I do some extra research to see exactly how the good doc can benefit from it. <clears throat> and with that being said, the good doc is officially out. At least, Nako. Fa'alam, which means we're going now. Uh, bye bye. As always, love you guys. Mahokita Mabuha. We about to have some weed, some legal weed in the Philippines, people. <laughs> Peace.